In Chicago, the connection between organized crime and credit card prostitution was the target of what is being called the biggest ever government sting. More from Ned Potter. The agents who made this raid two weeks ago were part of something called Operation Safe Bet. For nearly four years, they gathered evidence on organized crime's link to prostitution. We're not looking for small fish, we're looking for big fish. We're looking for the people that operate major illegal operations. The targets involved were clubs and bars such as these, where officials say sex was openly for sale, but the transactions were carefully covered up. Working undercover out of this credit card firm in suburban Chicago, the FBI falsified $30 million in charge receipts designed to make the sex clubs look like legitimate businesses. A man hiring a prostitute might get a bill at the end of the month showing he had bought a pet or paid for a business lunch. Organized crime has always been involved in certain activities, prostitution being among them. Sources charge local police were taking bribes to let the crime ring continue. Agents may make 75 arrests in all. Reportedly also, they allowed themselves to be blackmailed by organized crime. Street tax, it's called. A portion of their profits in exchange for a promise of no trouble. Are such stings effective legally, especially after the acquittal of John DeLorean? You have to have uh, operations, undercover operations or sting operations, dealing with especially narcotics and organized crime and large financial crimes. Federal sources say this is the biggest thing ever mounted against organized crime. Ned Potter, CBS News, Chicago.